So how do you build a database? Is anybody, does anybody, who's, who's building a database now? How do you, how do you collect? Uh, well, actually, what I do is database development. So okay. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, I'm not using it the way I should be. But I do have a database of some restaurants and other customers. Okay. So the best way to collect a database is to talk to a customer that walks in your door or to buy from your website or that purchases your product or that you talk to. It's the number one best way. Hey, do you mind taking a quick survey? Can I get some of your feedback? In the restaurant industry, it's six times easier to get somebody in the door for the second time than it is for the first time. If they give me their information, they're coming back. Guaranteed. It means they had a good experience. It means they're willing to share their personal information, like their email with me, their home address. They're willing to share that they're coming back. But if I didn't put a comment card on the table, I would never know that. Now when you go onto my website, a survey pops up. Have you been here? Haven't you been here? How'd you hear about us? Two, three, four simple, simple questions. What do you like to eat? What do you like to drink? I don't drink. There's an option for that. So now I can collect this information and then put it into the proper categories. And when, when we talk about building a database, a lot of people say, well, let's just lump all these emails together. Let's lump, lump, lump everybody together, which is really not okay. People are bombarded with information left and right. If you're sending information to people about your business that they don't want to hear, they're going to turn you off. For me, we have a great bar. We have great wine. We have great beer. But if you if you're, don't drink alcohol and you're coming to my restaurant because you want a steak or a burger or a vegetarian dish, and I'm sending emails out on my bar, it's going to turn you off. Totally going to turn you off. You're going to turn off my emails. You're going to disconnect me and you're going to unsubscribe from me. But here was a customer that came in and had a good time and I'm pushing something that they don't want. So you have to figure out and survey, survey, question, question, survey, analyze, and then put these in different buckets or funnels to be able to properly then go back and communicate. So I have a bucket, I have a lead where I know if they haven't been into my restaurant yet because they went to my website, they filled out a little quick survey, they haven't been in yet. So now I can send them an, a welcome offer to come in for the first time, as opposed to a bounce back offer, which means they've been in and they're getting another offer to come back in for the second time. They might be two different offers, but I have to communicate to these two people totally different. And this one person that might, that might wanna come in might have been a fan of mine for five years. They're just waiting for the right moment to come in, right? And that initial offer I'm gonna send them may be the right moment.